Hello. This is a video guide for a robot voice effort with Acoustica Mixcraft. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Tim and I am making a tutorial for random robot voice stuff which is exciting so let us start now with a new blank track as you can see there is no effect so far and let's do this first robot voice I'll show you how to build that um, first thing you want to do is put some let's see okay that's what we want this is the one we're working on okay you use about five or six of um, different effects to make the whole robot voice come together there um, one of the first things that you want to do is depending on your microphone you might have a little background noise so if you put a gate on it and you can pull the gate up to right about maybe 25 um, it, it, it makes sure that if there's anything really quiet it will not play that but if it's louder then it will play it which is kind of cool I think I actually just learned about it recently and let's see okay the second effect is maybe just a little reverb make it sound nice and reverby you know just a little bit though this is too much right now let's see how does this sound hello oh yeah okay I like this now let's go to um, in case I sound like I'm talking funny with pauses um, I have a headset on that lets me hear the voice my voice coming back as I'm speaking right now and there's just like a half a second delay and it's kind of throwing me off so just bear with me um, next we will go down and do some sort of auto filter which does some pretty funky stuff like this one is pretty strange right now um, canning notch I think is the one that we want so so this is what it sounds like it kind of you, it's really subtle but it can add to the effect I'll turn that off now f for now while I'm speaking and okay next effect is a flanger kind of a cool little thingy thing classic okay right there oh yes see now this is kind of cool I like how this sounds but I will turn that off too for now because I'm still talking <laughs> okay now um, one of the most important parts of this effect is G snap Auto tune, no, not auto tune. It's um, kind of like auto tune. It's pitch correction. Now, what you want to do is um, set. Uh, excuse me. Um, set the. Um, the auto tune up. I mean, G snap up. So it is just one note. It'll be kind of strange, actually. Whoops. But the whole point of this is that um, that it will drag your voice to one note and only one note. And for me, um, when I talk, it's normally around F sharp G. That's just my talking range, kind of. I'm normally at that pitch, so. If I pick a C for my single note, it will drag my voice away from my normal range and make my voice sound more warped out and robotic-ish. And let's see, I'm gonna set threshold up a lot. And yeah, I see it right there. Yeah, you can hear it already, which is kind of cool. And um, what were the attack? And amount. Here, let me turn this off real quick. Um. <laughs> okay. 
the amount is how much it drags your voice to the note. Like if you had it on a hundred percent, it would be, um, it would, you'd be talking the note in different octaves the entire time, which is kind of cool. But to whoa, um, that was my cell phone. Um, if you want it to sound a little more like a human, then you lower the percent just a bit and you'll be able to talk and not sound too robotic-ish, but still be pretty cool sounding. And, oh, this effect is a master limiter. You can use this if your microphone is turned down really, really low. Like if you just have a quiet microphone, you can boost it up with this. And all together, this is what it sounds like. I think it sounds kind of interesting. Here, let me put it all the middle on it. To make it a little bit louder. Hello, Harry. There we go. Now, obviously, when I'm talking, I'm not talking the way I normally would. I change the way I talk a little bit. I, I go up and down with my pitch, and I sometimes pause a little bit, and it makes kind of a cool voice effect, I think, in my opinion. And the nice thing about this is that you can do it for free with the free version of Mixcraft 5. Another thing I find really cool about this is that... Um, okay, there we go. Another thing I find really cool about this effect is that you can... Um, if, you, if your microphone is set up right, where you, um, where you can't hear it on the computer speakers when you speak into it... I know this sounds kind of strange, but I'm not sure how else to describe it. Um, I'm using a USB microphone right now, and you you can't really hear it coming back unless you turn on monitor incoming incoming audio. Now, if that's turned on, oops, you won't hear it coming in at all, and that's a good thing for this effect because what you can do is is if you click monitor incoming audio. All you can hear coming out of your computer speakers when you're talking in the microphone is the robot voice effect uh, on your voice instead of hearing your voice and the robotic voice effect version of your voice. And with this, you can actually use Skype or something with your robot voice, and it's kind of cool. Um, I was trying to think of some other applications for this, but I can't really remember right now. I had them earlier. Um, but yeah, just mess around with the effects and have fun and you can record robot stuff and yeah. See you later. Bye.